Hey guys, so today I'm going to flash Zio i10 on my Zio Z2 Plus. And so this is kind of a different ROM uh, from the normal Android Pi ROMs because this one is not going to be based on stock Android and it is a ROM which is based on Lenovo Z5 Pro and so a developer actually ported it for Zio Z2 Plus. So today I'm going to try it and I'm going to show you how to flash it on our Zio Z2 Plus. And the TWRP I'm using right now is the latest one and it, it is based on travel. So basically if you are going to flash any custom ROM uh, like ZUI 10 or any other custom ROM and if you get any errors like error 7, error 2001, 3004 like zip and valid format or any other kind of errors you do try to first of all update the TWRP you are using right now. So basically as you can see I just selected all of them and wiped them up and now you need to go and select the ZUI 10 zip file. So in this one you, you do not need to flash any open gaps because uh, if you try to flash open gaps you might get stuck in a boot loop. So just select the ZUI 10 uh, zip file from here and now swipe it up. Now it may take around around 5 to 6 or even 8 minutes to actually flash the whole file and the boot up time will be around around 2 to 3 minutes in total. So around uh, in like 10 minutes in total the this custom ROM will be flashed on your smartphone and as I said before this is not an Android uh, AOS IP ROM so it's not like a open extended kind of ROM uh, it is a ROM which is actually based for the Lenovo Z5 Pro and a developer just ported it for Zoox Z2 Plus so there will be some uh, bugs and some limitations to the features you may get in this ROM so do think about this and this is going to be a Chinese version now if you know Google is not uh, Google does not have its application installed on any Chinese uh, version ROMs. So this even uh, ZUI 10 wouldn't come with any open gaps features but when you try to actually flash any open gaps on this one uh, it will tell you that the stock Android uh, stock open gaps are installed and it may stuck you it may get you stuck in boot loops. So do not try to actually flash any custom ROM uh, any open gaps on this one. Now let's keep it aside for some time. Uh, now let's see. Uh, I just kept it aside for some time. Now, as you can see, our phone has flashed the ZUI 10. And now, as you can see, uh, even the Magic uh, version 8.0 is installed right now from the start. Now, what you need to do is wipe the LVC catch, and after that, just reboot your system. Now, so in this room, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test how this PUBG gameplay works on it, what are the features. And then I might upload a full review about it, but I might even upload some uh, different video of, of how any actually custom modes uh, could work on this one. So I'm going to try and experiment uh, some other stuff on this ROM, and if uh, it works successfully, I might upload a different video about how the modes like Sun Cool, Dolby Atmos works on the ZUI 10. If they don't, I won't upload a video about it. So stay tuned for the part where actually I'm going to test this ROM for around three to four days. Then I might upload a full review, full review about it. But until then, I will upload a video about how is the PUBG gameplay. Uh, if and I might upload about a video about how does the other uh, modes work on this ROM. So as you can see right now, Lenovo. Uh, this is the Lenovo booting animation. Now the the text here looks like more a bit a bit bigger. And as you can see, a blue kind of light does flow through it. So it looks uh, neat and clean. Uh, there is not much of animation going on right here. It's just the Lenovo name written and a kind of blue animation flowing through around it, and that's all. And it might take around three to five minutes in total for all the booting animation to complete, and your phone will start. So it's kind of fun to see how will this uh, ROM perform against those custom stock Android performers because uh, every ROM I tried which had the stock Android installed were fine, good, and I wasn't actually expecting. Uh, ex uh, no. Uh, experiencing any kind of issues while using them because they were fast. Now as you can see our phone is started. Now do click on the English button on the left upper side if you are trying to use it on your English uh, if you prefer English. You can also uh, select Chinese from the upper left side if you want to. So that is where you will click to select the English button. Now we need to go to start settings. So now I will try to connect to my Wi-Fi and let's see if i could if i'm able to connect to my wi-fi because the keyboard in this one is a chinese keyboard 
uh, let's see if I could connect okay hmm. so actually I'm not able to connect to my Wi-Fi I don't know why but I'm trying to but what it uh, shows an error I don't know actually what the error is because it is written, written in Chinese now when you actually start your smartphone the first keyboard you will uh, that will you will appear and you will be able to see will be a Chinese keyboard and you won't be able to write your passwords or type anything you will be able to type numbers and other uh, kind of letters but you won't be able to type any English letters so what you need to do is uh, I'm going to show you just a minute now this is a kind of problem or you can say a bug but what you will see is and uh, now see this is the error now when you type anything from the letter English letters you won't be able to see that but if you try to type any kind of words or any kind of signs like that as you can see you can type address you can type in numbers but you won't be able to type any of letters even the delete button doesn't work I don't know why but in this one it doesn't work so now I'm just going to select my uh, geo volt e and uh, let's see if you if we could connect uh, I think so we, we will be able to connect this one but as I showed you that you won't be able to actually uh, connect to your Wi-Fi and you will need uh, some other sources of uh, internet to actually start your smartphone now okay so I right now I don't have any uh, account I will try to skip this one let's see if you could skip yes so basically if you don't have any account you can just skip right throughout it now let's see if the fingerprint works okay we will select a pattern L again okay fine so now we will see if we can actually so now I don't know why but the errors I can see right here are kind of more in Chinese language now as you can see the fingerprint works well I mean it is able to detect while I press on it and a vibration also occurs to confirm it and as you can see okay we are going to skip this one I don't want any Chinese applications and we are done so okay so our uh, we have just set up our Z2 plus and we are running GUI 10 which is actually based on Lenovo Z5 Pro now as you can see the corners right here are actually a bit of rounded uh, I don't know why but I will try to see if you can actually customize that kind of stuff uh, I don't really expect any kind of more customizable options because this one is based on Z5 Pro and none of uh, the developers have worked on it so that's it for this video please go subscribe and hit, hit that bell icon and do comment down below which type of videos do you want to watch next and thank you for watching